The Colorado Avalanche, colloquially known as the Avies, are a professional ice hockey team based in Denver. The Avalanche compete in the National Hockey League, NHL, as a member of the Central Division in the Western Conference. The team plays its home games at Ball Arena, which it shares with the National Basketball Association's NBA, Denver Nuggets, and Colorado Mammoth of the National Lacrosse League, NLL. Founded in 1972 as the Quebec Nordiques, the team was one of the charter franchises of the World Hockey Association, WHA. The franchise joined the NHL in 1979 as a result of the NHL-WHA merger. Following the 1994-95 season, they were sold to the Comsat Entertainment Group and moved to Denver. During their first season in Denver, the Avalanche won the Pacific Division and went on to sweep the Florida Panthers in the 1996 Stanley Cup Finals. The 1996 Avalanche became the first Denver-based team in the four major North American professional sports leagues to win a league championship. They were also the second major North American sports team to win a championship a year after moving, joining the National Football League. NFL's 1937 Washington Redskins. In the 2001 Stanley Cup Finals, the Avalanche defeated the New Jersey Devils in seven games to win their second championship. In the 2022 Stanley Cup Finals, the Avalanche defeated the Tampa Bay Lightning in six games to win their third championship. As a result, they remain the only active NHL team that has won all of its appearances in the Stanley Cup Finals. The Avalanche have won 12 division titles since moving to Denver and to set the league record for most consecutive division titles at nine in a row from 1995 to 2003, one in Quebec, the rest in Colorado, and qualified for the playoffs in each of their first 10 seasons after the move. This streak ended in 2007. Franchise history. The Quebec Nordiques were one of the World Hockey Association's DUHA original teams when the league began play in 1972. Though first awarded to a group in San Francisco, the team was subsequently sold and moved to Quebec City prior to the start of the league's opening. During their seven WHA seasons, the Nordiques won the Avco World Trophy once in 1977 and lost the finals once in 1975. In 1979, the franchise entered the NHL along with the WHA's Edmonton Oilers, Hartford Whalers and Winnipeg Jets. After making the postseason for seven consecutive years, from 1981 to 1987, the Nordiques started to decline. From 1987-88 to 1991-92, the team finished last in their division every season, with three of those finishes landing them last in the league. This included a dreadful 12-win season in 1989-90 that is still the worst in franchise history. As a result, the team earned three consecutive first overall draft picks, used to select Matt Sundin, 1989. Owen Nolan, 1990, and Eric Lindros, 1991. Lindros made it clear he did not wish to play for the Nordiques to the extent he did not wear the team's jersey for the press photographs, only holding it when it was presented to him. On advice from his mother, he refused to sign a contract and began a holdout that lasted over a year. On June 30, 1992, he was traded to the Philadelphia Flyers in exchange for five players, the rights to Swedish prospect Peter Forsberg, two first-round draft picks, and U.S. $15 million. The Eric Lindros trade turned the moribund Nordiques into a Stanley Cup contender almost overnight and is seen in hindsight as one of the most one-sided deals in sports history. In the first season after the trade, 1992-93, the Nordiques reached the playoffs for the first time in six years. Two years later, they won the Northeast Division and had the second-best regular season record during the lockout-shortened season. While the team experienced on-ice success, it spent most of its first 23 years struggling financially. Quebec City was by far the smallest market in the NHL, and the changing financial environment in the NHL made things even more difficult. In 1995, team owner Marcel Aubut asked for a bailout from Quebec's provincial government, as well as a new publicly funded arena. The bailout fell through, and Obu subsequently began talks with Comsat Entertainment Group in Denver, which already owned the Denver Nuggets. In May 1995, Comsat announced an agreement in principle to purchase the team. The deal became official on July 1, 1995, and 12,000 season tickets were sold in the 37 days after the announcement of the move. Comsat considered several names for the team, including Extreme, Blizzards, and Black Bears. It also debated whether to brand the team as a Denver team or as a regional franchise representing either Colorado or the entire Rocky Mountain region. Initially, Comsat filed copyright protection for Black Bears, but reportedly decided to name the team Rocky Mountain Extreme. When the Denver Post leaked the intended name, 
Fan reaction was so negative that ComSat reconsidered and chose the name Colorado Avalanche. The new name was revealed on August 10th, 1995. With the move, the newly relocated team transferred to the Pacific Division of the Western Conference. Please like, subscribe, and comment on the next video you want to see.